Hi, this is Small Town Critic, and giving you my review for The Goldfinch. Uh, it is directed by John Crowley, written by Peter Stro Strohang, it's S-T-R-A-U-G-H-A-N, and uh, it's adapted from a novel by Donna Tartt, which is actually a Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, uh, book. She got a Pulitzer Prize for writing that book. It stars uh, Oakes uh, Fergley, Ansel Eaglert, and Nicole Kidman. So those are sort of uh, so those are all the the uh, main players in this particular movie, and to be honest with you, this movie is fairly boring. There's not a lot that goes on in the movie. It's two and a half hours. It could have really been 90 minutes. It could have really been an hour. Um, I could. There's just a lot to uh, take out of the movie. What I see what they're trying to do is they're trying. So this movie is based around a 13 year old kid whose mother dies in a terrorist attack at the Metro Metropolitan Art Museum. And he's with her. Uh, and he ends up stealing this painting called The Goldfinch. Now, it sounds like a really interesting concept for a movie. You know, are they going to be uh, figuring out who bombed the museum? Are they going to be figuring out how his life plays out after that? How does, how does he remember his mom? And they try to go with that last angle, but most of the time, uh, since it was adapted from a book, I think there's been there would have been a lot of cool, interesting ideas of how the character is feeling and what's going on in his mind and soul and stuff like that. But the movie doesn't really show that. What the movie shows is he takes a lot of drugs because that's how he deals with the pain, and then he holds on to this picture uh, to remind himself of his mom. And that's the whole movie. It's him going from scene to scene to scene to scene trying to sort of navigate what happens after his mother dies and they do a really poor job of it i mean the characters aren't very interesting i just didn't see where this was going and at the end there's sort of this ah well this it means this and that's sort of like yeah okay <laughs> i think they were trying to have a rosebud type moment in this but this is definitely no citizen kane by any stretch of the imagination uh you know i was really disappointed uh like i said there's there's some of it's actually fairly the cinematography is really well done actually to be honest with you um there's these great sh scenes where he's at and the costume design as well as well too but it does not save this movie at all the writing is atrocious the scenes are atrocious long and boring and they don't have a point the actors themselves are sort of like looking like they're acting in glue uh, they at times don't seem to know what type of emotion they're supposed to have or what um, and they or they tend to have the same face the whole time to represent you know sadness or happiness or gladness you know it's it's all the same emotion it's just like what are you guys doing it, it doesn't make any sense to me so it doesn't surprise me that this is probably in the top 10 of lowest opening weekends gross. I think I remember reading an article about that just the other day, that this movie uh, is is uh, so bad that it's one of the lowest uh, movies gross opening weekend ever. Top 10. That's not a good sign. You know, and and Peter, uh, the, screen, the screenwriter for this, um, has not had a lot of good hits. I mean, he had a good one with uh, Taylor Tinker Soldier or Spy that was I think an Academy Award uh, winning uh, nominated film but his next one with the snowman was atrocious if you remember last year that got panned by critics and audiences alike and unfortunately this movie the goldfinch is more like the snowman than it is about Tinker um, and so I don't know what's been going on in his life or, or what's going on but his writing style has gotten really bad and I don't know if he is this maybe he should try a different genre of of, of script script writing because what he's doing right now with adapting these novels is not going well so on the whole don't go see this movie see any other movie in the cinemaplex and i mean did about any other movie 47 meters down on cage is a masterpiece compared to this that's telling you the level of of how bad and boring this movie is and uh, just to let you also know too i had people get up and leave in the middle of this movie because of how bored they were so with all that being said this is my first f of the year don't go see the goldfinch and don't buy it on blu-ray or dvd or even rent it oh it's bad well if you like this review uh remember to subscribe 
uh, in the and leave a comment below. Uh, as always, this is the Small Town Movie Critic bringing you movies each and every week, um, to, so you can see whether you want to go see them or not, and to so you know where to spend your hard-earned dollar. You guys take care, and I'll have a great week, and I will be back next week with another movie review.